<laughs> hey guys, just quick reminder, if you leave a comment under this video and you ask me which exclusive is better, should you exclusive this, yes or no, etc. You can even give me some context where you are in the game. I will make another video, part 2 to this video, where I'm gonna also answer your comments. Uh, watch this video so you understand more, but basically any comment under this video will be answered in the next video where we're gonna talk about the exclusive part too. Enjoy the video, sub, like, subscribe, see you soon. Hey guys and welcome back on my YouTube channel, it's your boy Troll and in today's video we have a lot to do. So, basically some days ago, when was it? Yesterday, some days ago. <laughs> Yesterday I did a video about the new incoming legendary dragon eye we're gonna get for free and in the video I asked you and told you that if you leave a comment and you ask basically if you should use your dragon eye on a X hero I will let you know what I think about it and what is my opinion about it. So in today's video what we're gonna do is we're gonna review all the comments from that video and we're gonna basically discuss it. And we're also going to see who understood what I said and who didn't understand. Uh, the game is on. There you go. We go into the gallery. Boom. Uh, I can't make it bigger. Oh, yeah, I know what I have to do. Basically, we're going to do this. All right, let me prepare. Boom. And boom. Of course, I fucked up. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Oh, there you go. Now we have full visibility. Okay, so TA the epic hero can be good for guild boss has an Okay, uh, cool passive is working just like uh, Okay, into Melia going to be sick. So let's check Melia because there was a lot of Melia. So let's be honest uh, There's plenty of you who have a Melia So let's check exclusive of Melia when it comes to her exclusives, now I don't know how many eggs you're gonna get, I don't know how many eggs you have, we are basically gonna talk about one by one exclusive. What do I mean? For example, level one exclusive of Melia for me is shit. And why do I mean it's shit? It's not like, okay, it's not that, you know, having one more turn on Valkyrie is bad. That's not why I'm saying this is shit. This is shit that basically if you take level one, from some other heroes, like for example, Asindo, Hezonja, etc. Those are god tier level 1 exclusives. Level 1 exclusive of Melia is complete shit. Now, if we go to level 2, it starts to be a little bit more interesting. Melia inflicts one layer of HP burning on all enemies for two turns after casting Valkyrie. So this is interesting because every time you're gonna switch into Valkyrie, you're gonna basically put HP burning directly uh, without being hit or hitting someone. So overall, it's very good as well. And it's on all the enemies. So basically, you get some sort of AoE damage, AoE HP burn, which is really good. But at the end of the day, it will be only every four turns. And then level three, that's what I think that's the best one. Increase the damage dealt by HP burning by 25% when Melia is under the Valkyrie status. So it doesn't say your HP burn. It doesn't say applied by you HP burn. All it says that and how I understand it. I mean, again, to be tested by those who, has, uh, who have E3 is that whenever Melia is in Valkyrie, uh, the HP burning will do... 25% more damage. It's the same with Hezonjas. He also has an exclusive that increases the HP burning damage. And for and it basically works for everyone as well. So L, L1, Mech, L2, maybe. But again, I think there's just... I think there's a bit better. But it is also very good. Level 2, exclusive 2 is good. Okay, there's no doubt about it. And obviously, exclusive 3 is completely broken. Anything that increases HP burning damage is just very, very good. So that's for Melia. Let's continue. Hi, I've been so lucky the past few days and I got two dupes of Horus. I wanted to know if I should use the Legend area for E3 or use it for Melia E2 instead. That's a very good question. So let's check Horus E3. He is in Sunset. So one, two. And let's check Horus E3. So exclusive Storm of Kraus. Okay, which is this one if I'm not mistaken. No. 
Oh, it's the ultimate. Okay, so it's uh, well, let's just check the ultimate. Uh, Storm of Chaos has an additional 35% rate and removes shield from the target before dealing damage. So it's not a game changer. It's good for Tower of Mark. It's good for PvP. But it's not something that will change, like, it will not push you from, I don't know, Dwarf and Dungeons 25 to 30. It will not push you in, uh, for example, Artifacts Dungeon. Like, this is amazing, but it's just, I would not use an eye for that. So Melia E2 is 100% better for me. Unless all you need is to finish, for example, Tower of Mark to get Catherine. And I don't know, you're blocked on a shield boss. Well, obviously this is better, right? I mean, again, you're gonna need to use a little bit of your, you know, self-experience, okay? Let's say it nicely, to understand which is better. But if we are talking about pure, you have this, you have this, no context, what's better? Melia E2 is just better. It's, it's It will just help you in more content. However, like I said, in this scenario where you actually gonna finish, I don't know, Tower of Mark and get Catherine, then yes, this is 100% better. Let's go to the next one. Uh, okay, when he started talking about Dark uh, Level and came back to finish, okay, I actually want the better epics. What do you think about the new Halloween dungeon? Da, 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 da. Yes, you can get it easy, the Legend Eye, and apparently you don't need energy, so we'll see how we get it. Halloween, yes, first, and then. Can you use eyes on Catherine? I think having early... No, you cannot. I don't think you can use eyes on Catherine. Can you? Wait, this is actually a, a good question. Can you use eyes on Catherine? Like, honestly, I don't... I, I have no fucking clue. I... Can you use eyes on Catherine, guys? Like, does someone know? Where is it? Ah, no. Only the same. Guys, just click it. Why you never check it? Seriously. Then you think I'm, I'm the best YouTuber. No, I actually just click. <laughs> Only the same heroes can be consumed for, uh, for upgrading the exclusive. Like a same 5-star hero. Wait, but does it say the same for any other hero? Like, I don't know. For example, here. No, okay, you see, you don't have the comment here. So, since you don't have the comment here... Okay, yeah, okay, okay, makes sense. So, yeah, exclusive for Catherine, it's only Catherine. That's why you see Catherine E3 everywhere and you don't have Catherine E5 so far. Uh, next. Uh, what do you think of exclusive one of Margarita? It's insane, and to be quite honest, my eye... So, where is my eye? My little eye... Why this one? So the eye I got for free from the quest here, right? From chapter 34. Uh, I actually used it on Margarita. I used it on my Margarita. Uh, and to be quite honest, why? Because it makes your life in PvP just super fucking easy. Her damage, she is the best AoE nuker in the game when you have the exclusive. Even without the exclusive, her damage is insane. However, without the exclusive, maybe Little Jack, the new legendary Halloween hero, might be better than her in terms of AoE. But for example, me, I use the eye on Margarita and I do not regret it. Maybe Serena would have been better because you get an extra turn when you evolve. But again, Serena to evolve, it's not instant either. So at the time, with the champions I had, because I still have a, didn't have Asindo, so honestly, Asindo exclusive one is way better than Margarita, for example. But Margarita E1, I used my eye on her, I don't regret it. If at the time, I don't remember, I really don't remember if I had Asindo at this time. But uh, most probably, I maybe I had, but I was a complete noob still back then. And I didn't know it, so I didn't use my eye on Asindo. But Asindo, top one hero that I would use the eye or Hezonja. And, but yeah, Margarita completely fine. So what do you think of exclusive one Margarita? It was my first exclusive one where I used an eye. Also, should I give exclusive one to Melia or Hez? Or my mini. No, Hezonja. I think, wait, Hezonja increases damage directly of 25% if I'm not mistaken, right? So let's go to Dragon Tribe. Hezonja. Uh, exclusive one should increase all HP burn. I uh, know, it's this one. 
Oh, it's level two. Okay. So level one is actually what? Dragon Flame. Additionally, triggers HP burning to deal damage once. Dragon Flame. No, no, 100% this is better. <laughs> no, this is... This, <laughs> This is 100% better. Uh, yeah, no, no. Uh, Hezonja E1 is 100% better and it's just, it's just so good. Because you're gonna basically additionally triggers HP burning to deal damage once. So if he has 5 stacks, uh, you're just gonna make... You're just gonna one-shoot everything. So no, exclusive one Hezonja is completely broken. Melia is not even near him. Uh, I'm... I'm torn between exclusive one or Okmen or Hezonja. Hezonja E1 easily, I agree. On another note, I have two copies of Margarita. Would you build her to go with the other two? The rest of my team is Maya, na 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 na. Uh, depends. I'm, I mean, Okmen Hezonja on their own is really enough. I would not build Margarita for Okmen and Hezonja. I only build my Margarita for PvP and sometimes for some wave clear. But overall, late game, you are not going to mix HP burn with pure damage. Late, late game, Okmin and Hezonja on their own will be enough. And you won't be using Margarita even if you build her besides PvP. What's your opinion on Taf as a damage dealer? Also, is it worth getting his exclusive? So, when it comes to Taf, for me, it's the best carry in the game. One of the best carries. I did a video about him, guys. Uh, but overall, for me, he's also like the champion number one to have if you want to build a poison team also his exclusive one right of nature will reset the duration of all dot uh, i think it's completely broken not only for poison but overall so wait which one was it this one yeah so this will reset the duration of all dots so it's the same as okman's s2 so basically if you go to okman s2 uh okman s2 up uh, up so if you for example combine okmen because you're gonna also a duration of all debuffs you combine okmen with taf and taf has exclusive one or even you don't combine but overall taf exclusive one is very very good uh, especially for poison or bleed where you can stack them for uh, 10 so that's also very good uh but yeah taf uh, taf e1 is very good for me he's very good I mean, anything that extends dots is very good and I don't think uh, also it's worn. Yeah, yeah. His exclusive is very good. I have that as well, and this pretty good if you have a poison or HP burn team because he will reset duration exactly. Like the more, the more, the longer you have your dots, the more damage you have. So I agree. Tough one is very good. Obviously, it's a shame to use an exclusive eye if you only have tough. So you don't have I don't know Okmin, Hezonja, Melia, Walter, whatever, anything else that puts a dot. So bleed, poison, HP, HP burn. So, you know, there might be just better, but on its own, tough with his exclusive, I would say he's good. Because, yeah, I just, I would say he's very, very good. So, E2 on Sana, or E2 on Margarita, or E1 on Xia. So, I know what does Margarita exclusives. Sana, where is Sana? She's in here. I don't know what Sana exclusive 2 does. So the crit damage dealt by Sana has 25% more uh, piercing grade. That's very good. And when chain shot, doubles the increased turn meter if it lands a crit. Doubles the increased turn meter. Honestly, the exclusive 2 is kind of shit. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna lie. The exclusive 2 of Sana is shit. Exclusive 1 is great. And exclusive 3 is completely broken, to be quite honest. But again, it will be only for PvP. You are not going to use Sana anywhere else than PvP. And obviously, I don't know, Tower of Mark, Abyss Factions. Uh, but uh, pure damage dealers are not the best for late game. Uh, and her E2, I, her E2 is complete garbage. Like, E1, E3, great. E2, completely useless. Uh, E2 Margarita. So E1, obviously, it reduces the amount of stacks you need. Uh, but E2, to be quite honest, I do not remember. No, 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 no! <laughs> no! Exit. Uh, exclusive. So, this one, okay. When counterattack command. What? Okay, let's just find it here. 
Is it this? No. This? Yes. Exclusive level 2. When countering command is released, increase all allies crit damage. Well, yeah, this is... This is... This is... Uh... Is the exclusive to that good? I mean, it's crit damage of by 30% and it's for all allies. Usually when you play Margarita, you play her alone with Bisede, not in like a team. So honestly, her exclusive 2 is not that great. Okay, so Sana, Margarita exclusive 2, I don't recommend. Even her E3 is not that great. It's only increased damage by 30%. So I think Margarita E1 is the only thing you need. Everything else is just not worth uh, a, dra a legendary dragon eye. And then Xia A1. I mean, Xia A1, I know it. It basically means that she cannot be stunned when she is casting, if I'm not mistaken. Exclusive one. Contract that's additional increase business. And Xia, guys, yeah, exactly. And then she had all this damage, but it's good to all enemies. Basically, her, a her exclusive one is needed in order to be able to solo all the content, kinda ish. So you are 100% sure you will. Sorry, guys. So her E1 is. Here E1 is good. So if you okay, so between going E2 or uh, on Margarita or Sana, I will hundred percent go E2 into E1 on uh, Xia, hundred percent because E2 Xia level two Xia is just completely broken, and E3 it's even better. So I would go from this three, those three I would go on Xia E1 hundred percent. Okay, guys, it has been already sixteen minutes. I don't want to make like a one hour video. Leave a comment under this video on who you want to understand which exclusive is better and we're gonna basically continue on that So I will also put a little note on the front of the video to remind you about that But leave a comment. I will continue on those comments in the next video and I will also text co take comments from uh, This video for the next one so we can discuss exclusives. It was your boy troll and I will see you soon. Ciao <laughs>